Greetings, everybody. Welcome to 2K Sports. I'm Ernie Johnson here with Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. And coming right up, we'll see this home squad playing against the Bucks. Well, for Milwaukee, playing above 500 in the last few weeks, not bad. They'd like to do better. We'll see if they can add a win tonight. Two great backcourts going head to head tonight. Kenny, your thoughts on how the guard position has evolved over time. And well, make it quick. Uh, yeah. Thanks for joining us here on 2K Sports for NBA Basketball. I'm Kevin Harlan, joined by the talented analyst tandem of Greg Anthony and Chris Weber. David Aldridge is on our sideline. The Milwaukee Bucks come into this one after the win against the Jazz. Yeah, struggled to shoot the basketball in that game, but still found a way, if you will. I mean, they had to pick up the slack in a lot of other areas, and they did. I mean, it's hard not to get discouraged on such an off night nice shooting the ball, but somehow they kept the intensity up. I mean, that was, that was a really gutty win. Now the starting group for the Milwaukee Bucks. Giannis and Parker, the explosive forward pair. Ludzo is out there with Malcolm Brogdon, and it's Henson in at the center position. Yeah, good awareness there. He sees an opening and doesn't hesitate. Well, that opening right there, that's just because the defense failed to rotate. Shock up two there. And, and his presence as a scorer, it, it just has a calming effect for the rest of the team. He's a fallback option whenever they need one. Hampton passes to Chi. Iverson outside. Traps in the tray. Iverson's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. And, guys, this is what you like to see early on, gaining a little confidence from range. Well, I wouldn't say that's his shot, but, but it's a shot he can make, and that really opens things up for the offense. The Bucks shooting their first foul shots of the night here. That free throw good from Bloodsoe. And Eric Bloodsoe drops them both. About one minute into the first quarter. Pass to Hampton. Now Sabonis. Antetokounmpo defending. Fades and shoots. Antetokounmpo pulls it in. Here's Brogdon. Tries again. Henson shot is off. Here's Hampton. Sinks the three-pointer. First 130 gone here in the first quarter. Iverson against Bloodsoe. It's Anadokounmpo on the wing. And too long on the shot. And low percentage look on that one. Not sure what he was thinking. Well, sometimes you get a little outside of yourself. You have to be a little more disciplined. Now here is Carter. Here's Sabonis. They shoot again. Knocked loose. Parker with the steal. Four on three break. And Anadokounmpo slams it in. And that's such good work to make this a one-possession game. Terrific steal to get it all started. And that Unleash Chaos replay presented by Under Armour. Hover Havoc giving us a chance to relive that exciting play. That one goes in. And that's what the pump fake's there for. Get your man off his feet and drive right around him. And that's out of bounds. Milwaukee will retain possession. Okay, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for a report from the sideline. I had a chance to catch up with Mike Budenholzer, and with this team, it's all about getting out in transition and using their team speed. He said, look, if we get a rebound, we got to be off to the races. This has to be a track meet, so we may have a wild one tonight, Kevin. Back to you. Thanks, David. Now here's Iverson following the miss by Giannis Antetokounmpo. Shots good by Chi. And their post play has been really solid right off the bat. And so it's Bledsoe. He brings it up for the Milwaukee Bucks. Six-point game. Here's Henson. Sabonis grabs the board. 
We're about three minutes into this first quarter. Carter on the wing. Shoots over Brogdon. Vince Carter the bucket on the assist by Iverson. Iverson's got three assists tonight. Bucks trail by eight. Blunso taking his time here. Shot from 12. Here's Henson. No good with the layup. Does well to burrow his way into the post, but loses his touch on the finish. Carter inside the three-point line. And the lead now. Double digits on that bucket. Carter's got his third bucket of the night. Aggressive coming out of the gate here, guys. Wow. Yeah, you got to love it. Everything's working. Offense, defense, already a big lead. And Milwaukee calls their first time out of the game. And when you take a look at that shot chart, the amount of misses lately, really unbelievable. Man, this is a joke. I mean, there's been some glimpses of hope, but they've been few and far between. So it's both teams making substitutions here. First quarter of play and uh, just over three and a half minutes in. Down low. Here's Maker. And a kind roll that time off the rim as that one falls. Maker's got his first bucket in this one. Iverson outside. Pass to Chi. Jabari Parker comes up with the rebound. Bucks trail by eight. And the wide open shot from Bledsoe. Nailed from three point land. Bledsoe's got five points so far. McGrady left side. A three ball. Good. And it's Iverson who picks up the assist. Iverson's got his fifth assist in this one. And so onto DeCumbo looking over it. And there it is for him. Onto DeCumbo's got his second bucket of the game to go. And how about the initiative there from Onto DeCumbo? Excellent at seeing lanes to the basket and then just taking advantage. Sabonis with the bucket. And right from the start, Kevin, they've been pounding the glass. Most of those 50 50 balls also going their way. Here's Bledsoe. The lead pass was put in just the right spot. He's got seven. And how about the splendid floor vision from Antetokounmpo? A good decision maker improves his passing each and every year. Now here is Carter. He has six. Here's Sabonis. And the shot is good. Dropping in off the front of the rim. Oh, this is the kind of start they were hoping for. Bucks trail by eight. Bledsoe kicks to Parker. Plenty of space. Rebounded by Chi. Chi's got four rebounds in this game. Here's McGrady. Here's Sabonis. Lays it up off the glass. And already with the commanding lead, a terrific offensive performance. Oh, okay, you've done your job so far, but the question is now, can they sustain this level of energy? There's still a lot of game to play. Now, here's Maker. Here's onto Takumbo. And at last, they get one to fall. Look, he doesn't waste time. Once he gets the rebound, he does what he should. Goes right back up with it. Iverson kicks to Sabonis. Over Parker. And he sinks that one, hitting the back of the rim on the way in. Sabonis has got 10 points in the game. Now the pass to Maker. Here's Bledsoe. Misses from close range. 36 seconds left to play here in the first. Outside, Carter drains it from beyond the arc. And the defense looks soft early on. They've got to sum it up. A little more sense of urgency. Maker kicks to Ana Kumbo. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. You know, we always talk about what a rare talent Giannis is, and it's true. Uh, unrivaled athleticism and versatility. This is his first chance at the line tonight. Two shots. That free throw, no good. Both teams will make substitutions. Yeah. 
And he misses the second one as well, so he is 0 for 2 that time. And that one gives them a plus 5 rebound advantage, Kevin. Carter against Bridges. Carter, the pass to McKenzie. Over onto the Kumbo, and good. Got the friendly bounce off the right side of the rim. No hesitation when he saw the space the D was giving him. That's two. So as we end the first quarter, already a double-digit ball game. The home team up by 15. And don't go away. We'll be back with the action for the start of the second quarter in just a moment. And welcome back to the second quarter of action. Plenty of basketball left to play, but this one has been one-sided so far. Guys, what's your take on the home team so far? Uh, listen, early on taking the league, I just like their approach offensively. Yeah, right. Only the first quarter. Don't over panic, but it seems like their strategy is working. We'll see if the other side can count. We've got B-Train. He's out there with Dion Waiters. Giles is out there with Carter. And it's McKenzie in at the four-man position. Reddick with the bucket. That was all about the assist. Great pass to set up the shot. And a moment now to reset the lineups, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up for the second quarter of basketball. Setting the floor for the Bucks. Bridges out there with Antetokounmpo. Then there's J.J. Reddick, and it's Wilson in at the five. Here's Connaughton to the paint. And Antetokounmpo gets it to go. Andre DeCumbo's got eight points. Clearly, he's one of the best there is in the business when it comes to making that lead pass. McGrady dishes to Waiters. A three-pointer, no good. Bucks trail by 13. Connaughton passes to Andre DeCumbo. Carter with the block. To the middle, here's McKenzie. That one falls, coming off Carter's feed. Oh, he gets in a good position in the post, and the entry feed is there for him. Now, here's Adedekumbo. Eight points for him. Passes it to Connaughton. Lock at six. McGrady against Anadokounmpo. The rebound by Giles. With the prospect of making a big lead even bigger. And yeah, you got to jump at this chance. Stretch that lead out as much as possible. And, and the definition of teamwork right there on that alley-oop. And Greg, what about the finish? Bringing it down with some Impressive. thunder. Yeah. Timeout called the Bucks. the Bucks making a change here. Hanson's checked in. Bucks trail by 17. Quarter number two. We're about two minutes in. Inside. And there's Bridges on the assist by Henson. Bridges has got his first basket of the night. Not only a jump shooter, Bridges also dependable at knowing how to get it done inside. He makes another one. That's four up and four in to start his game. He played a very solid first quarter. Now he's taking it up a notch here in the second. Poke loose. And he lobs it up. And we're now a little over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Reddick finds Henson. Pass to Connaughton. Clock at four. Wilson with it. He's guarded by Waiters. A shot by Wilson. No good. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. Here's McKenzie. Fades away and sinks the tough shot. He's got 10. And a terrific percentage here in the first half. You, you got to love their rhythm and the flow with which they're playing. Well, it's the shot selection. That's been a positive for them thus far and a negative for their opponent. Now here's Henson. 
He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. And the wide open shot from Reddick knocks down the three ball. Oh, I mean, the main weapon in Reddick's arsenal, he's out here to shoot it from deep. And, and he does that well. Let's it go from the wing. And he buries that one, drilling the rim on the way down. He's taking over the game. Their lead's going to get even bigger if he keeps this up. Pass to Wilson. Now, here's Bridges. D right on him. Connington kicks to Henson. The Bucks need to get a shot off here. Here's Wilson. Had the space there, but it's offline. They're making this a runaway. And the only question for me right now is just how big the lead will eventually become. And that assist got him a little nod from his teammate after that one. And here's Reddick. He'll bring it up for the Bucks. And there's the pass to Henson. Outside Wilson. Here's Connaughton. And the dunk to finish it off. A beauty. And a sturdy screen set for him that time. And he doesn't fool around. Just straight to the rim for the finish. No way for his man to get around that one. That's, that's for sure. And that's a play they'll run over and over, fellas. As long as it keeps working. Big group substitution here for Milwaukee. Akers checked in for John Henson. Parker comes in for D.J. Wilson. Malcolm Brogdon's checked in for Pat Connaughton. And it's Eric Bledsoe in for J.J. Redick. Free throw good, McGrady. Timeout, timeout. timeout called, the Bucks. Yeah, just hitting a reset button, a chance to kind of talk some things over. And the chance to draw up a great play. I mean, this is a chess match at work. Bucks trail by 21. Rogged in the pass to Parker. Iverson against Bloodsoe. In the corner, it's Brogdon. Will not go. This is off the front iron. Down low. And it goes out of bounds. That one's off Parker. On Monday. They'll be taking on Jonas Valanciunas and the Toronto Raptors. Then on Friday, they'll be facing Joel Embiid and the Philadelphia 76ers. And for that game against the Nuggets, this is one where it would take a complete meltdown for them not to come away with the win. Anything can happen, but I'd be shocked if they don't come out on top. And good passing, setting up a lot of these buckets right now, Kevin. That's been the key. 133 left here in the second. Brogdon with it. Now McGrady defending. Now here's Bridges. Tight defense on him. Bloodsoe outside. Over Iverson. Iverson with some nice D. They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the boards has been impressive. The shot's good. Uh, with the run he's on in the second quarter, I mean, this field goal percentage is tremendous right now. Now, here's Brogdon. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Maker, no one around him. And again, the Bucks miss. And we haven't seen them get to the line as much here in the second quarter. They might be settling a tad too much offensively. Just increasing their advantage. And right now, they're in a zone on both ends. Oh, that's why you see them flexing a little bit. They're feeling good about how they've dominated. Now, here's Brogdon. Maker dishes the blood cell. Back to Maker. Brogdon against McGrady. To end the run, and they force the shot clock violation. Great D. Carter, he's checked in for B-Train. The Bucks also with the sub. Antetokounmpo's checked in for Bridges. 
they've been doing a great job of sharing the ball. And guys, shot A comes to mind for me because right now that offense, it's a smooth operator. The three from Iverson. That one misses. Bloodsoe outside. Carter with the block, and he gets it back. And so a pretty lopsided game through the first half. The home team delivering the blowout. We'll see you after halftime for the beginning of the third quarter. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Greetings, friends and neighbors. One half down, another half to go. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. It's the NBA on 2K Sports. Taking a look at this home squad, Kenny, some perspective, please. Well, they just about ran their offense to perfection. They pounded the ball inside, and the entry feeds were on time and on the money. It was a clinic to watch. The second half is going to be no contest if they keep getting shots eight feet and in. And now, Shaq, let's get your opinion on Milwaukee. Well, there's no wonder they're getting blown out. No energy, no fight in the rebound battle. Ernie, you got to pick it up. You got to pick it up starting now, or it's going to be impossible to come back. Like the Pythagorean theorem times 50 times 100 times 50 times 10. Impossible to figure out, Ernie. And that's a wrap for our halftime show. The third quarter just about to get started. Well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. What a game we're seeing from b Train. Oh, well, they've done a good job of letting the game come to them, and really few four shots here so far. Terrific first half on offense. This is how you draw it up. We'll see if they can maintain that efficiency going forward. Iverson is out there with Carter. Then it's Sabonis, and it's Chi, and at the center, locking down the middle. That's the group starting the second half for Teron Liu. And Parker with the block. Passes it to Brogdon. Back to Bledsoe. Parker outside. Fires for three. Rebounded by Chi. Chi's got his eighth rebound here tonight. Parker with the steal. Outside, out of the Kumbo. Bledsoe kicks to Parker. An easy two points on the layup. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Parker's gone 50% so far. Two of four shooting to the wing right side. Hampton passes to Chi. No good on the shot. Now the Bucks take it the other way. Adetokounmpo finds Brogdon. Carter with the block, and he gets it back. Third quarter here, over a minute and a half into it. Wasted no time on that one. Carter's got 12. They're, they're getting a lot of their points outside the paint. Three of their last five baskets are from three-point range. Timeout called the Bucks. And when you take a look at that shot chart, the amount of misses lately, really unbelievable. Man, this is a joke. I mean, there's been some glimpses of hope, but they've been few and far between. J.J. Reddick's checked in for the Bucks. Rob. Bledsoe against Iverson. Here's Carter. That's good. Great play set up by Iverson. Iverson's got six assists now in the game. Into the third we go. Two minutes in now. Bledsoe kicks to Parker. He dishes it to Hatsatakumbo. Back to Parker. Here's Henson. Milwaukee. No good that time either. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the D. Here's McKenzie. And there's the foul on the shot. He'll go to the line for two. 
And there's the foul against Milwaukee. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. That free throw, no good. Wilson, he's checked in for Parker. And he sinks the second. Just under two and a half minutes into the third quarter now. Onto Takumbo, passes to Henson. Back to Onto Takumbo. Left side, Reddick. And off the front iron, and in it goes. He's got seven. Exceptional with shooting off the pass. Reddick's rapid fire release often comes in hand. Iverson kicks to Carter. Pass to McKenzie. Over Wilson. The shot that time, not on target. And Milwaukee will come the other way. Onto Kumbo against Waiters. Shooting foul. As the whistle blows, he'll shoot two free throws. It goes on Dion Waiters. Milwaukee shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. And as a team, really just middle of the pack in terms of their percentage from the line at about 76. A different look for Milwaukee. Bridges is jacked in for Hanson. And it's Pat Connington in for Eric Bledsoe. Here's Iverson. He has six. It's Vince Carter on the wing. Pass to Iverson. From past the arc. The rebound by the Bucks, And there's the pass to Reddick. Now here's Wilson. Defended by Carter. Onto Takumbo passes to Connaughton. And a great assist by Onto Takumbo as that one goes in. Onto Takumbo's got assist number five here tonight. Passes to McKenzie. Count that one as his seventh bank in eight attempts. A scorching 88%. Yeah, I mean, he's been orchestrating all game at, at a high level. And you see defensively, when they try to patch something up, he exploits a different weakness. Here's Wilson, and he uses the glass on the layup. And here is Iverson. Pass to Chi. McKenzie, onto the Kumbo, defending. Count that one. He's got 17. And when he squares up, his height makes him a tough assignment. Yeah, well, even when you get a hand up, it's hard to really affect his shot. Here's Connaughton. He has five. The floater. Rebounded by Chi. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. Here's McKenzie. The rebound by the Bucks. Ande DeCumbo's got his fifth rebound in this one. Pass to Bridges. Here's Connaughton. Outside, out of the Kumbo. At the top of the key, Bridges. Iverson grabs the board. Uh, the D pretty much taking that possession off, but the shot's off target with nobody near. And he can smell blood in the water. Excellent finish. Oh, yeah, up by double digits. They're trying to keep the momentum, keep the foot on the neck. That's his focus right now. Now, here's Reddick. Seven points in the game. And onto Takumbo, slams it in. Oh, man, you better appreciate the unselfishness. When Reddick sees an open teammate, as great of a shooter as he is, he's fast at getting him the ball. And that Unleashed Chaos replay presented by Under Armour. Hover Havoc giving us a chance to relive that exciting play. Von Makers checked in for Milwaukee. Malcolm Brogdon comes in for J.J. Reddick. Ande DeCumbo's gone 5 of 10 from the floor. The drive by Iverson. And he converts the layup. Iverson's got 10 points. He's been in control here tonight, helping them get in front with his work from the field. Brogdon kicks to Ande DeCumbo. Bucks passing it around. And that one's good, Brogdon. And so far, going for more of an inside presence here in the second half, getting away from the three-point shot. McGrady outside. Takes the three. That one is good again. He's six for eight from the floor with the basket. And you can see there the defender gets caught up on the pick. Team ball. Great execution on offense. Everyone working together. You wish you could have that on every play. 
Now, here's Brogdon. Kicks it to Maker. It's Kumbo on the wing. Five to shoot. Sabonis grabs the board. Sabonis has got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. Iverson passes to Sabonis. Carter with the three. It's good again in the next one. Seven for eight shooting night so far. And those aren't the type of three-point opportunities that you can allow in the NBA. Three seconds separate the shot clock and game clock. Here's Antetokounmpo, and he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. The Bucks have gone four of six so far from the line, missing a couple, and he makes the first. And the Bucks with some changes. Parker comes in for Bridges, and Eric Bledsoe subbed in for Pat Connaughton. And even though they're down, they are putting on a show at the free throw line. Iverson, no luck. On to Dekumbo against Sabonis. Bledsoe with it. He's gone two for two at the line so far. In their last contest, guys, he was unconscious from the foul line. Good on both. And so it's the home team in complete command. Their lead at 28 points going into the break. From the field, they have been outstanding. Amazing shooting. That's what has them headed to a blowout. We come back right after this. And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter for him. Yeah, he put it on a platter and it was served cold. Now, I love the poise, the decisiveness. This is how you run an offense. And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same from the first three quarters. Setting the floor for the Bucks. We've got John Henson, Maker out there with Tony Snell. Then there's Bledsoe, and it's Posey in at the two-guard spot. Indicative of what we've seen tonight, one team being the aggressor, the other failing to react. You know the saying, numbers don't lie. You can see it up there on the scoreboard. Here's Henson. Battles through traffic and lays it in. And you just hate to give up those second chance points. Uh, it can be discouraging, frustrating, but you only have yourselves to blame. Box out. Here's Giles. Here's Bembry. Over Posey. Bembry shot good. About a minute played here in the fourth quarter. And Posey kicks to Snell to the left side wing. Bledsoe against Parker. No good from Bledsoe. Bledsoe's gone three of nine tonight from the field, 33%. Bembry, that one a tad offline to the right, but drops in for him. And the Bucks with possession here. Bledsoe outside. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. Absolutely fearless. I mean, a, a nice subtle adjustment there going up against Wint. Well, this is just another case where being aggressive wins out. Now here's Parker. Here's Sabonis. And it's good on the assist by Parker. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. And so it's Bledsoe. He brings it up for the Bucks. We're about two minutes into the fourth quarter in this one. To the inside, and the dunk by Maker. Beautiful lead pass. The finisher never has to break stride. Maker's gone two of four from the field. Bembry the pass to Sabonis. Shoots a fader. Off the left rim and out. We're in the fourth quarter here. Just under two and a half minutes gone. 
Al Posey dishes to Snell. Six to shoot. He kicks it to Maker. Puts up a three. That shot, no good. Maker's gone two for five, shooting 40% from the field here. From 20 feet out, the shot's good from Bacon. And they've had assists now on their last three baskets. And just about three minutes through the fourth quarter here. And it's Bledsoe off the drive. Count it. They're scoring boatloads of buckets. It's raining buckets from inside. Here's Bembry. The 10-footer finds the target. Nice pass here to set that basket up. Milwaukee with the ball. Posey up top. Defended by Sabonis. Posey, no luck. And a little over three and a half minutes in the books so far here in the fourth. It's good. Bacon's got four this quarter. And the crisp passing has opened things up for them offensively. And here is Posey. Good on the bucket. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. And Teron Liu wants a timeout. See, Webb, when you look at how basketball is taught at early levels for these kids, middle school and then high school, anything there that you would change? Yes, I would change to developing all players and taking away positions. Interesting. When you are young and you're in, let's say, third grade and you're the tallest player on the team and I make you a center and I pull you to one end and I only show you how to make layups, I don't show you how to shoot threes or to dribble, I'm assuming that your body is always going to stay the same. And I believe that coaches should teach great skill set, shooting, passing, dribbling. And when you do that, a player can then become the full player they're intended to be instead of teaching incrementally where a player may get stuck and identified as this type of player his whole time. I think that really what you need to do is teach full skill sets and allow players to develop. Just think if someone would have said, Kevin Durant, you can only shoot layups. We wouldn't be able to see the true unicorn that he is. Wonderful thought. Eric Bledsoe grabs the miss. And the Bucks with possession. Redick with the three. Doesn't go that time. Waiters outside. The pass to McKenzie over Wilson. He clangs that one off the back iron and down it falls. He's got 19. Now here's Bledsoe. Good for basket number six from him in the contest. He's shooting six for 12. Well, it's been a steady game for him, but he hasn't done enough to keep them from falling behind. To the inside, McKenzie. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Parker. Parker's got his fifth assist in this one. Bloodsoe with it. Pass to Maker. Lets it go with a three. He's off on that one. Pass to McKenzie. And he gets the bucket. Oh, it's just been one of those nights from he got into the floor of the game and has not lost his touch. And it's Milwaukee's ball. Bloodsoe outside. To the middle. Here's Maker. Kicks it out to Wilson. Hits it from three point range. I mean, like the kick out there, recognizing there's more room outside than inside. To the left wing, here's Bacon. Tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Now the Bucks moving it up. Here's Maker, and the dunk by Maker. And a good example there of why it's important to change ends quickly. Yeah, talent in this league has it so that now pretty much every team can push the pace. You have to get back on defense. Here's McKenzie. That one doesn't drop. The Bucks go the other way with it. Bloodsoe kicks to Connaughton. Outside for Bloodsoe. 52 seconds left to play in the final quarter. 
Good D by Parker. Here's Bacon. Here's McKenzie. Nice follow through on the fadeaway. Still attacking. Building on this lead coming down the stretch. Well, what I like about it most is he's doing it efficiently. Now here's Bledsoe. He gets it in there. 24 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. And they can just let the clock run out here. Cannot argue with the W. Fade away. That one goes in. And leaving nothing to chance here on this game-clinching run. Yeah, that offense shifted into high gear. I love the attack mindset. Reddick surveying the D. And so they get the victory here at home. It was a tale of two teams tonight, one that was in total control, operating flawlessly, and the other just searching for answers that they could never find. I mean, the energy here is just so tremendous. Fans involved from the get-go, and once they started to really pour it on, it was fun to see that rhythm and flow from their perspective. And that'll do it, folks. For Chris Weber, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.